Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 3rd, 2019. So yesterday we had kind of a bummer of a day. We started with a gap up and then those bears came in, decided they were hungry and pushed us back down. Now, I know um, that was probably painful for some folks, um, particularly if if um, you've been kind of over trading um, as we approached uh, resistance, um, all time high resistance uh, levels in the market. But let's take a look at what actually happened here by the end of the day. And I got to tell you, I think it's it held up pretty well. We did pull back into here and actually drop below this little area of support. But notice by the end of the day, we had rallied back significantly, recovering a bunch of that area. And remember, the, these lines that I draw are not perfectly... Uh, perfectly drawn lines and, and they shouldn't be a very narrow line remember there's a uh, there's a range in there so i think we did a really good job yesterday here in the dow holding up and this morning the futures are pushing to the upside we're expecting a big jobs number this morning and we'll talk about that in a second but in anticipation of that we're getting a gap up um right at least right now in the futures that could certainly change after the number comes out but we'll have to watch that closely and right now it's looking pretty good for a little bit of a rally off of this support area now keep in mind that anytime you get selling like this what happens is a lot of folks get short they start shorting the market and when that occurs if we get a real good positive report of some kind we could kick off what they call a short squeeze and what that means is, is all of these folks that got short the market w could be forced to buy to cover and that means when they buy to cover it continues to push the market higher so we get that if we were to happen to get that really good number and uh, they fire off the short squeeze and force some of those short traders out we can really extend a move uh, back up so watch that closely and perhaps that may be just exactly what we need for the diamonds to finally break out to new record highs we'll have to wait and see that would be one heck of a move but hey we've seen stranger things right so watch that closely now the other thing to pay attention to with a gap up open as we gap up toward resistance levels if we move up sharply here and gap up toward resistance levels in the chart and gap up toward these all-time high numbers up here is that possibility of a pop and drop and what do i mean by that that's when we gap up in the morning and after that we see nothing but sellers coming into the day very much like yesterday we gapped up in the morning and saw nothing but sellers here throughout the day so we'll want to watch that closely um also and be careful not to chase we always want to wait and make sure that those buyers are actually going to step in there and support the morning gap now we're expecting a really good jobs report this morning and we'll talk about that in just a second so it's certainly possible that we could gap and then just keep going up and that's what we want to watch for we want to maybe take a look at a shorter term or an intraday chart making sure that those buyers are actually stepping in after that morning pop and pushing the market higher let's take a look at the spy here real quickly very much the same situation here where the spy pulled back and did a great job notice how we pulled back we held on at the end of the day held on to this level of support we tested it hard and made everybody worry about it for sure and then we also held on to this trend so let's take a look almost a perfect touchdown in here where we pushed down into resistance buyers pushed it back up little spinning top doji on the day so and we're looking at a gap up open this morning slight gap up open now just keep in mind that as we push back up here toward these resistance highs in the chart and i'm going to move this level right here right now i'm going to move it right into here because that's that 
that close that we would be looking for for a new high. So if we push up in toward this area, that's where that resistance can come in. And we want to make sure and watch that closely as that occurs. We don't want to catch one of those pop and drops. We don't want to be suckered into um, some kind of a sell off. So watch that carefully. And if we happen to find that energy to push on through, awesome. It'd be awesome to see that on a Friday, right? Let's take a look at the cues. Q's almost identical. We just had these really good holds of price support yesterday. So here's this price support in here hanging on there nice and tightly. Now we do have the problem that we failed this trend, but keep in mind you can draw a trend in so many different ways and maybe this one isn't drawn just exactly as the market wants to respond. And once again, remember they're usually wider uh, lines and just this nice thin line but the way I've got this drawn we did have a failure up here and this is a failure at a new high so we'll want to watch this as the market tries to respond back and you can see this morning we're looking at a gap up somewhere in here at least at the moment and if the market starts to respond back we'll want to watch that level up there for uh, that price resistance if we happen to make a lower high in here that would not be good for the nasdaq so watch that closely the good good hold of support we just need to see that follow through and push us through to those new highs and um we'll have to wait on some of this data and remember we have a huge week next week of earnings we'll talk about that in just a second as well let's take a look at iwm that iwm kind of broke trend yesterday from all the other indexes and iwm chose to pick back up at the end of the day and actually go positive after its gap down move holding on to this trend um, nice to see that happen and still being challenged by this resistance right in here and this resistance here that we'll have to watch but IWM chose to hold on yesterday and um, trying to gap up just slightly this morning so we'll have to keep an eye IWM could be trying to respond back bullishly. Let's take a look at the VIX here real quick. The VIX showed some fear yesterday. We rallied right up. Isn't it amazing how price support and resistance works so well so much of the time? And this line I have drawn, and you can see this line um, runs back here a long ways where I've been marking out price support and price resistance levels in the chart. Well, to me, it's just remarkable how we can run up there and test it. I mean, within a few pennies, test that level. And then those buyers came back in yesterday, picking us up off of those support levels. And that fear started to drop here in the market. So I think we're in a pretty good shape here this morning, depending on that jobs number. But as long as fear remains under this level we can bounce around in here and it really won't make that big a difference now for option traders anytime fear kicks up of course that increases the implied volatility of of your options and and can make them cost a little bit more but if we stay down in this area not a big worry um in my opinion where I get worried um, on this chart is if we were to break out of here, hold it as support, then, then I'm gonna be worried. Um, but for now, I think we're looking pretty good in that pullback yesterday it shows us that fear, uh, though starting to uh, add a little concern to the market, um, certainly isn't getting out of hand. Let's take a look at T21. 22, that four week new high, new low ratio. Now, I know a lot of folks were probably hoping that this T2122, uh, the selling in the last couple of days would have pushed us down here toward these extreme uh, bullish reversal levels. It did not do that. Pushed us down here to around this 30 level, which means we still have an open door uh, that we could move down. Um, but this morning, the bulls are pushing back higher. What we also have to think about here is we have a plenty of room to the upside, which gives us that opportunity maybe today if we can maybe fire off a short squeeze or 
get that good bullish mojo going uh, this morning, we have plenty of room to push to the upside. But this is one of those reasons why you always want to be careful about not chasing into the market. You want to be careful to watch uh, these price levels closely because if we were to gap up, hit some resistance and see sellers come in, we just want to remember that there is an open door to the downside here that we could still test. So keep that in mind. By the way, I want to let you know that I'm not necessarily expecting any kind of selling. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of hoping for the uh, push to the upside uh, today and, and testing of those resistance levels again. Be a good move for Friday. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. If we take a look at our economic calendar today, we have a couple things here that can move us around significantly. And again, that's that employment situation report. And then right there at the same time, we have international trading goods. Now, uh, by far, this is going to rule the day. Everybody's going to be focused on this. This would have to be an extraordinarily bad number or extraordinarily good number to really um, uh, trump uh, the employment situation uh, number. But just keep that in mind. Also, remember, we have the ISM non-manufacturing here today at 10 o'clock. And then we just have a parade, uh, an absolute parade of Fed speakers today. Um, unlikely that they will say anything that changes or moves the market. But if somebody goes rogue here and starts talking more hawkish, we could certainly see the market respond to that. So just kind of keep in mind that they're out there um, speaking and um, they can always have an effect on the market depending on what they say. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. Remember, I always consider Friday as profit day. And we want to think about um, we want to think about the weekend ahead and the risks that come on the weekend ahead. You know, our job is to make money, and that is to work to consistently make money. If you ever want to be work, uh, put yourself in a position for full time trading, you have to work to take profits consistently. You cannot always be swinging for the fence. So keep that in mind as we move into this Friday, and remember that although we have kind of a light day today. Of earnings under 75 companies reporting earnings next week is just absolutely massive we have uh, right now uh, the economic calendar is showing 500 companies reporting next thursday 400 on wednesday 388 on tuesday 198 on monday so big big week of earnings next week um so keep that in mind. We could see a lot of price movement around. So if you have those profits in hand, hey, take some of those profits. Don't let the weekend um, or events um, over the weekend take that money away. And so I always am looking to take profits on Friday, kind of clean up some um, accounts. Think about that as you move forward. Now, um, with that, everyone, I want to wish you all just great profits and a great day of trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click the subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Hey, I wanna just shout out a real huge thank you to everyone. Um, yesterday, the YouTube channel went over 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much to all of you guys who take the time to click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. It makes a huge difference. You know, I don't make any money from this from YouTube that's not my uh, that's not what this is all about I want to provide good quality content for traders and um, help them because I know when I was struggling and fighting to try and reach my goals and become a full-time trader it it was so hard to find really good quality uh, content without being full of hype and sales and all kinds of things so that's my goal here and um, if this is the first time please make sure and click that subscribe button and click that bell icon so that you can be notified every time I uh, create one of these videos which is every market day and then also please uh, feel free to share this video with any friends and family
So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up for potential trades. Now, remember, every time I bring up a chart like this, I, I, I want to make sure that you understand that these are just um, a, a, an idea, a, a watch list type trade. These aren't uh, any kind of a recommendation to buy or sell. You have to do your own evaluation of these charts. But let's take a look at these. One of the members uh, brought up this chart yesterday and what a beautiful chart SNPS beautiful trend this has been trending nicely holding on to this trend beautifully and we're setting up one of those nice little tight pop out of the box type patterns that's that consolidation that moves us over to the trend and what we're waiting for is we're waiting for those buyers to step in and pop that through could that be today possibly I can tell you the closer and closer we get to that trend the more and more I like that uh, that chart so I want to watch this pretty closely for that potential keep an eye on SNPS you might want to keep an eye on LMT as well there's that nice pattern again where we gap up on earnings and now we consolidate sideways and we're moving over toward the trend we have had a couple attempts to pop out of here and so far hasn't been able to really do it and notice yesterday we had that pullback and that pullback finished the day with a hammer a little bit of a hammer pattern now a hammer within a consolidation doesn't really mean that much unless we get a follow-through so watch this chart if we have happen to have the opportunity for this to follow through and move on um, out of here this may be the signal that we could be waiting for for a new move up so keep kind of keep an eye on it put it on your list watch that chart take a look at Lulu Lulu popped up on earnings and has just been climbing this nice little trend all the way up. And here's this beautifully tight consolidating doji uh, consolidation. Notice that there's really no sellers in here. We're just a little bit of profit taking and just pulling back and moving over toward the trend. So we we'll want to watch this chart in here. The closer and closer we get to th that trend, we want to watch to see if we get some buyers to pop up in here, pushing us through for that next leg higher in the chart. Another chart I've been keeping an eye on is BAH. You can see BAH has been running this trend up, finally moved itself over to the trend, pulled back, rallied back up to resistance, and then consolidated right there. Notice what happened yesterday. Nice little candle popping through there. Um, giving us that little warm and fuzzy that this may be ready to start its next leg higher. So keep an eye on that chart as well. Good charts in a lot of different places and we have to watch carefully for them. Want to watch for these pullbacks and things like that that could be setting up um, these nice trades. So let's keep an eye on them. Um, Twitter is one of those that you might want to keep an eye on. Now, Twitter tends to be very volatile. Notice the big, long candles, lots of whip, lots of um, wicks and tails. But Twitter had a nice gap up on earnings. And notice that what we're doing is we're testing this resistance up here. We're trying to uh, break through. And as we do that, we're getting higher lows. That's creating a pennant pattern. If you've never um, uh, taken a look at a, a pennant, they tend to be very bullish patterns and as that pa uh, pennant develops and this could wind around out here a little bit longer before this actually goes but you might want to keep an eye on this if that pops out of here and I would suggest that um, that pennant could reach right on up here testing this resistance high in here around 42 so keep that in mind if you're interested in a chart like that um, Twitter like I say can be a little bit it's it can be a little bit hard to trade uh, just because of the volatile nature um, that it is take a look at STZ STZ beautiful moves and notice see how these pop out of the box patterns can work for you but I, I mean they, they it's just a great pattern and it repeats over and over and over in the market and here's the other thing if they happen to fail if we wait for the price to break out rather than anticipate the price of the breakout they can save you from jumping in too soon 
So these beautiful patterns um, continuing to develop in a lot of charts right now. So we can see STZ kind of pulling back, holding on to this level of support in here. Maybe a little bit more consolidation maybe due in this chart. Uh, moving over toward that trend and then we'll see if we can catch that rally that might move us out here in STZ. So with that, everyone, that's quite a few charts and I'm running out of time here on the day. Um, I hope you have an awesome, awesome weekend. I wish you all the best. And for all of you traders out there that might be struggling, hey, I want to continue to encourage you to keep up the hard work. I know sometimes it just seems so frustrating, like it's never going to happen for you. But if you keep out there, you keep working, you keep plugging away at it, um, it, it, it will eventually get better. Um, you know, trading is a very, very difficult business and not because of the actual mechanics of what you have to do, but it's learning to deal with the emotions, dealing, um, learning to develop the discipline to stick to a set of rules and your trading plan. And uh, that just takes some time. We all have to work through that. So I want to encourage everyone that's struggling out there to just stick to it. Don't give up on that dream. Everyone have an awesome, awesome weekend. I wish you all the best and we'll talk to you all bright and early on Monday morning. Take care, everyone.